If you ever get envious of those cool graphic designers with a bunch of monitors going all at once, ask yourself this question. Do I have a laptop? Because if the answer is yes, you can run a multi-monitor setup of your own. I'm Tom Merritt, editor from CNET.com. I'll show you how to do it on this Insider Secrets. Now, I must credit my coworker Rafe Needleman with this idea. He came by one day, saw me pecking away on my laptop and said, why don't you use that as a second monitor? To which I said, frack off, Rafe, but then realized, you know what, it's not a bad idea. And it's uber easy. I'm going to show you how to do it both in Windows and in Mac. Now, I'm assuming you've got to set up something like this, laptop and a monitor. Probably don't have two laptops, just one of them. First, let me show you the Windows way. You boot up and you're in the one monitor. Right click on the desktop and choose properties, then choose settings. You'll see a second screen. Drag it to a position similar to where your laptop screen is. It should prompt you if you want to enable this monitor. Say yes. Make sure extend my Windows desktop onto this monitor is checked and press apply. Now here's a little hitch. Maybe I can't tell which monitor is which when I want to do that sliding. Here's how to fix that. Press identify and numbers come up on each screen. Now the other issue that didn't happen to me here but might happen to you, especially if you boot up in your laptop before you hook the monitor up, is it'll think this is the main monitor and put your taskbar and everything down here. Here's how to get out of that. Select the monitor you want to be primary and check use this device as the primary monitor and then press apply. Depending on your setup, you may have to move the taskbar up to that monitor. You just hold down the left mouse button while dragging the taskbar to move it, and voila, you got your multiple monitor set up. You can configure it however you want. I like up and down, usually right under each other. You could put the laptop up to the right or to the left, whatever you feel like. You can also look in your video driver to see if you can save profiles so you don't have to reset it every time you turn on your computer. Now, in a Mac, it's super easy. Go to System Preferences. Choose Displays, and if OS X hasn't already detected your new display, press the Detect Displays button. Select Arrangement, and you can reposition the displays to reflect reality. You can even reposition the dock wherever you want. Of course, there's another even easier way. Just press F7, and sometimes that'll put the screens exactly the way you want. Well, that's it for this edition of Insider Secrets. I'm Tom Merritt for CNET.com. Enjoy your new real estate.